All right, how are you doing today? Today we're taking a look at my favorite six features in the new Logic 11.2, Logic Pro 11.2. Uh, some really cool things here. We got ChatGPT built into this now. Uh, I'll show you that. And let me know what your favorite new feature in Logic Pro 11.2 is. And let me know what you think that we need to update. Not me, we, them. <laughs> Apple needs to update and add some features in for everyone. Uh, the chord chart's one thing we, we could use some things on, maybe importing MIDI and stuff like that. But yeah, let me know in the comments below. But let's just get right into this. All right, so here's something really cool they added. You can hit Control, Command, T, and you get this. So search and select track. Now this is great when you have lots of tracks on your in your project and a good reason to label everything. So let's say I'm looking for the Vox vocal track here. I have these different options. I want the lead Vox, which I did label. And it's just gonna pop up there. And it was inside a folder as well, a track stack, if you will. My lead vocals there, chopped up to bits, as you can see over here. But there it is. And we can do that again with something else. Let's say the bass track or some sort. Now I do, I do have a couple ideas for the bass track, but this will take me right to them. And I have them all right there, highlighted and ready to go. So very cool indeed. Now, another cool thing is, this was in the older version of Logic, but now we just hit Command Control P and we could load a plugin if we will. This was already there, but we got the key command and we're just gonna hit this drum and bass balloon thing here. And then when you do that again with the instrument already loaded, then you could add effects to that track. So that's pretty cool. So we could throw a channel EQ there, do it again, add something else, perfect room for example, and we just control uh, create our channel strip that way. That's good if you don't have this open especially, and then you could just do it that way. Which brings us to the next good point here. If say we were playing our DAW and we're playing some notes, playing some notes. We don't record. Now we had this previously, but now we have a key command for this. And it works with audio now too. So we just hit Shift R and we're good to go. We have our our MIDI data there, which is awesome. And again, it works with audio. So if you're, you know, noodling on a guitar solo or something and you just run through the track and you forgot to record, or if, you know, just practicing or whatever, you say, oh, that was a really cool take. Let's, you know, and then you just hit the, the Shift R, automatically it's there, it's always recording, which is interesting. And then there's some improvements to the stem splitter. We have our track here do a right click, hit process, stem split. And it's gonna give these different options that we did not have before, because we could just do the vocals if we want, acapella, it'll just do the vocals, we have instrumental, if we just want the instrumental, submix, and then we also have guitar and piano splits, which is nice, and then other. So they added the guitar and piano, rather than just the drums and stuff like that. Uh, and then the submix, we could choose what we want as well. But let's just do the whole thing real quick here. Split all stems, ready to go. Creates a nice track stack folder. It automatically mutes uh, your original track, which it did that before, but I'm just letting you know, okay, so if you didn't have the old version. And then we got all our stems down here, nicely labeled as well, or icon at least, I didn't label them, but they do have the labels here, vocals, drums. So you could rearrange those. And then, yeah, and then we could even do our other thing here, control command, T and search for vocals. And there's our vocal track, which how I demonstrated earlier, and it's just automatically selected. And it works pretty well. In the clouds, stars in your eyes. Just the drums. So really cool. We can also now move the chords around when this chord chart is closed. So you have that up there. We still have our chords here. I'm gonna hit Command, highlight the chords and move them around if I need to. So we don't have to have the chord track open and all this stuff. Very cool. There are some new Apple loops as well. Sample packs, if you will, magnetic imperfections.
And a lot of these have chords, uh, good for the chord chart as well. So if we drag this one over, for example, we got our chord progression up on top on our chord track. So very cool. We have the Dance Floor Rush sample pack available. Some MIDI stuff, some audio stuff, very nice. And I'm not sure how you pronounce his name, but Tom Skin as BC. Now the last thing I want to talk about is the chat GPT integration. You have your notes over here. Now you have to have this turned on within your operating system. But let's say we have some notes here. We have some lyrics or we can say, hey, uh, give me a lo-fi lo chord progression. Let's do this thing. Here is a lo-fi chord progression that captures a chill, nostalgic vibe. And that <laughs> gives you some other ones here and some tips and some refinements. So pretty cool. And then we could just, just get copy that, put it over here. And, you know, we can do that. We can do lyrics, you know, maybe help you out with some lyrics or something, whatever chat GPT2 can do. Uh, that's what we got. So you can even highlight words over here and do something like change, describe your change. Give me five words that rhyme with this. All right, so there you go. Six really cool new features in Logic Point 11.2. What is your favorite? Let me know. Check out my other videos floating around the screen here. I got hundreds of other videos of back catalog, lots of Logic Pro stuff. Anyways, that is all for now, and I will talk to you soon.